the best lesson I have ever learned was to look at more than the foot. What we're doing at the foot has so little to do with the foot. It's about putting everything else in alignment. It's about allowing joints to travel in their proper axis and muscles to work in their proper ranges and from the proper angle. You know, to look at that whole body and see what can I do for this patient, but also what am I really accomplishing with what I put on? I, I can remember going into physical therapy gyms all over the world and these kids would be working with their therapist, you know, barefoot, and there's their braces in the corner with, you know, their shoes and socks. And I, I, I always made it a point to ask the therapist, why isn't she wearing her SMOs or her AFOs? And these therapists inevitably would come back with, oh, she does so much better without them. And, and I'm like, then why does she have them? You know, what we do has to help. Otherwise, why do we do it? Kevin was a big part of the development of SureStep. And I remember one time we were at a basketball game. I don't think he was in fourth grade yet. And you could see that he was running a little bit differently than the other kids on the gym floor. And, and Bernie's like, what is going on with that? Typically, a child who pronates as severely as Kevin did would just go into UCBLs. And that's what I put my patients in all the time. When I saw how that affected his gait, it, something clicked because I, like most orthotists, always thought about what position they're in and not how they functioned. All of a sudden, there, there was a, a switch that flipped. And so that kind of went on this quest to develop something that would help him in the right position, but also function better. We were getting very close on this and I put this SMO on Kevin and he's like, dad, make it tighter. And so I tightened it up a little bit and he, he kind of slapped my hand out of the way and he just cranked it tight. I was thinking that, I can't be comfortable. But then I took a look at what was going on and, and realized that it wasn't tightening it down on his foot. It was distributing that pressure around and squeezing evenly, and that felt better for him. Just a couple more iterations and we were there. We figured out the compression thing and Kevin could walk better, but with the full foot plate, which is typical for SMO, so his ability to push up onto his toes or push off when he's walking was kind of diminished. In my head, it's because that's the way we've always done it, our industry standard, but it didn't make sense why we did that. So I chopped it off and it was night and day. I, his push off, he could jump. It was just so cool to watch it happen. And it was just sort of questioning the norm, that, that status quo that everybody in our industry did the same way.